All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do a vignette in Premiere Pro, and I'm going to try and do it in under a minute. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you watching this video. So today I'm going to show you a really simple way in Premiere Pro to get a vignette. Now I've seen a lot of tutorials lately on YouTube showing how to do this, but showing how to do it in a really complicated way. It really is very simple. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro. I've got this clip from a music video that I'm currently working on. I've already dragged it into the timeline and this is the clip that we're gonna to use to add the vignette to. So I'm gonna show you this really simple way of adding a vignette. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to your effects tab and in the search bar, you're just gonna type in color. The American way though, C-O-L-O-R instead of C-O-L-O-U-R, the correct way. And then you're gonna drag the Lumetri color effect onto your clip. Okay, so now we've got Lumetri color on our clip and you can see down in the bottom, it can't be any easier. It's got vignette written there for you. And all you do is you click on this arrow to expand the options. If you want a light vignette, then you just increase the amount. And if you want a dark vignette, then you'll decrease the amount. You can change the midpoint, bring that closer in or further out. You can change the roundness so you can make it a squarer vignette, like so. You can feather it so you can make it more dramatic. So all sorts you can do, but if you want the classic vignette, then you're just gonna do a little bit of that. Feather it out a little bit. And there we go. Now we have that classic vignette look to the video. Okay, this is quite subtle. That's my tip for you, keep it subtle if you can. So that's it for this video, I hope you found it useful. If you have, please do leave a thumbs up, it really helps me grow the channel, so I'd really appreciate that. Leave a comment below, let me know which other tutorials you'd like to see. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. Releasing new content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment, gear tech tutorials, reviews, editing tutorials, all that sort of thing. I've got some nice little playlists set up for you so it's easier to navigate around the site. So please do subscribe. It'd be great to have you on board. Really trying to grow the channel into a bit of a community that we can all learn from each other. That's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one.